Hi guys, I've just um, answered somebody on um, Telegram, or yeah, Telegram of course. So our channels, uh, social media channels, use them to get in touch and ask some questions. Topic of uh, this video is going to be, well, safety nets basically. If you go for YouTube, article X, time shift is something of a well fail safe or some way to ensure you keep having a workable system and as you see it's known throughout well the internet right Linux time shift how to install time shift and Arch Linux time shift Arch Linux etc I've made my videos other people have made my the videos so have a look and learn about time shift that's one thing the other thing is snapper a snapper is more has more to do with a formatting system as well and so you can learn about this is always your way to type i've typed it for years and i keep telling you arch wiki right and then the question butterfs so butterfs is a formatting system next to x4 and x3 in the past and so on so here is all the information i need about butterfs and why do i mention the formatting system because snapper goes together with butterfs but also time shift can go with butterfs so all the information is available and there are playlists and that's important for you to know this is one of the playlists anything about snapper videos on well as you see also a riser which is also a project of Arch carly is another one alci is another one and arch links itself is another one because what we do is teach you to be independent of any distro we base ourselves on arch grab packages grab configs and stay in control that's the point so you got here yourself a choice to make and the choice is super f7 i'm launching virtualbox i think it's still in which means i can show you quickly if you boot up from one of our isos the choice is always yes i do have an nvidia card no i don't have an nvidia card and it's rubbish to install either of these guys then it's gonna be no mode set Okay, so in VirtualBox Intel AMD, it's line number one. And then you boot up. And at some point in time, only if you go for advanced, right? You can select time shift and snapper and all that. If you go for simple, you can say X4 and ButterFS, but the software will come later, which is also good, right? We stress the importance of learning to script so bash rc and zsh so the shells right are important because and that's my personal workflow after all these years i've never used time shift i've never used snapper as a resource to to fix my system i try to fix it myself i give it let's say half an hour if i'm not that patient or an hour if i'm having a patient day and then I make sure that all my configurations are backed up to GitHub, right? And then a clean install. It takes 10 minutes, 10 minutes to have a working system again. It's clean again. Whatever was I was doing right in my home directory, all the rubbish that's in my home, Eric, right? The dot config, the dot local, it's gone. I get a new clean install, good for Windows, good for Mac, good for Linux. And then I get all the stuff in, all the packages, and that's my Arclix Nemesis script. Grab the packages, break, grab the configs, up, and we're rolling again. It only takes, let's say, 30 minutes max. And I'm back, I'm back on a system that actually works, right? So if you go offline, you can choose the partition, X4, X3, ButterFS, RiceRFS, etc. Well, we're just talking about X4 now and ButterFS since the topic is time shift and snapper. And if you go for advanced, you can actually get, well, choose install grub because there we have packages for 
um, the lines in Grub. When you boot up, you can actually go back from Grub already to a certain snapshot. So a snapshot is basically an image that's taken at some point in time and you can move back to that moment in time where everything was working, right? So get an update in, something is not working. We downgrade or fix it. You can use time shift or snapper to get back to a previous state and wait till somebody fixes for you. So in here, I just wanted to show you this. So either, there are two options. So it's not, it, it's always, the thing, use your brain, right? You can't just start clicking and say, whatever, I'll just click everything and that will be fine. No, it's not how it works. So this is time shift and ButterFS, time shift and time shift auto snap. This combination works great with X4 and ButterFS. So you're basically choosing your app to support this is time shift or not and so yeah this thing goes away it's just not responsive enough so it's not selected now click and this is the package so i would select a section don't go saying i don't want this don't want that if you know what you're doing fine but right just click the section and then you go on and remember what you selected. Do you want X4? Fine. Do you want ButterFS? Fine. But Snapper needs ButterFS, right? ButterFS Assistant, ButterFS Maintenance Group, ButterFS. I mean, this is no choice. This has to be later on in this screen, has to be ButterFS. Erase disk. This is something you shouldn't forget then. This doesn't matter, you choose what you like, but ButterFS should be selected. If you go for time shift, you have an option. You have one of the two, right? So you say, don't want that, do want that. And these are selected actually, but <laughs> like I said, a bit slow, but there you go. So this is your choice at that particular moment in time in the installation. That's the best way to install it, not later on. And then go for it. Well, you can install it later on, you know, it's just a package, but this is the time to make the decision. This is again, going for a certain application, certain way, workflow, trusting that application and say, I'm going to go for X4 or ButterFS. It can go with X4, right? It's no problem. And this one really just is there for ButterFS. So think Garuda, for example, right? They have no option whatsoever it it's gonna be butter of s so in here you say can say in column mars don't select anything it's just always butter of s and that's the choice distro builders make i want you to give all the possibilities no restriction okay so that's the topic that's the idea to choose at that particular moment in time in the installation already in advance Think, what will I do? Will I use time shift? Will I use snapper? And then later on decide on this particular choice here. Again, I'd like to stress that I have never used it in the last six years on Arclinux. I've tried it out in Linux Mint back in the days, but even then I had already a Nemesis script, a Linux Mint Nemesis script, making sure that all the applications after an installation of Linux Mint or Endeavor OS or Garuda, right? We just teach you Linux. You script what you want. Pseudo Pacman minus S extra stuff minus R remove this. And then you get your configurations in maybe the badge RC or a theme or a setting, a wallpaper, right? It starts very small these scripts and it ends up in a script like github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Nemesis. It's been there for 15 years or more, right? Only thing I had to do at some point is sudo apt install sudo pacman minus s. Basically that's it. All right. Enjoy the choices that are, well, 
given. Look for the playlist if you want to have more information. I'm not alone in teaching, so have a look at the internet. You'll find more but there are less, um, well, videos about Timeshift, about Snapper and explore the world, explore Linux in general and make your decisions and then later on decide that's not working for me. That's not how I want to do things. So you have now three options. Make your own scripts, use Timeshift, use Snapper and then stay in control. All right, enjoy.